Warrior Cats Into the Wild by Aaron Hunter Chapter Yeah, never mind. And Lionheart, he's my mentor. Which means he's training me to be a warrior. Thank you for the introduction, Graypaw, meowed Lionheart coolly. Blue Star was still staring at Rusty. You fight well for two like pet, she meowed. Rusty and Graypaw exchanged confused glances. How did she know? We have been watching you both, Blue Star went on, as if she had read their thoughts. We wondered how you would deal with an intruder, Graypaw. You attacked him bravely. Graypaw looked pleased at Blue Star's praise. Set up now, both of you. Blue Star looked at Rusty. You too, kitty pet. He sat up immediately and held Blue Star's gauge even evenly as she addressed him. She, she, you reacted well to the attack, Kitty Pet. Graypaw Grey is stronger than you, but you used your wits to defend yourself, and you turned to face him when he chased you. I've not seen a Kitty Pet do that before. Rusty man managed to nod his thanks, taken aback by such unexpected praise. Her words seemed surprised him even more. I have been wondering how you would perform out here, beyond the two-leg place. We patrol this border frequently. So I have often seen you sitting on your boundary, staring out into the forest. And now, at last, you have dared to place your paws here. Blue Star stared at Rusty thoughtfully. You do seem to have a natural hunting ability. Sharp eyes. You would have sharp bleh, hunting ability. Sharp eyes. You would have caught that mouse if you had not hesitated so long. R really? Rusty stammered. Lionheart spoke now. His deep meow was respectful, but insistent. Blue Star, this is a kitty pet. He should not be hunting in ThunderClan territory. Send him home to his two legs. Rusty prickled at Lionheart's dismissive words. Send me home? He meowed impatiently. Blue Star's words had made him glow with pride. She had noticed him. She had been impressed by him. But I've only come here to hunt him for a mouse or two. I'm sure there's enough to go around. Blue Star had turned her head to acknowledge Lionheart's words. Now her gaze snapped back to Rusty. Her blue eyes were blazing with anger. There's never enough to go around, she spat. If you didn't live such a soft, overfed life, you would know that. Rusty was confused by Blue Star's sudden rain, rage. But one glance at her, at the horrified look on Graypaw's face was enough to tell him he had spoken too freely. Lionheart stepped to his leader's side. Both warriors loomed over him now. Rusty looked into Blue Star's threatening stare and, and his pride dissolved. These are not cozy fireside cats he was dealing with. They were mean, hungry cats who were probably going to finish what Graypaw had started. And that's the end of chapter one. I hope you guys enjoyed that chapter. I will be doing the next chapter again soon. I hope you all enjoyed. Have a good day. Bye.